In this video, we'll be looking at the password spraying attack, which is a form of the brute force password attack. But instead of attacking a single user, we are going to be attacking every user in the Active Directory domain. The idea is to stay underneath the lockout threshold. So you take the most common passwords that are used by many users and you try them against every account in the domain. And then you continue to wait and retry while avoiding any lockouts. So let's take a look at how that works. The first thing you're going to want to do is do a little reconnaissance to find out what the lockout thresholds are within a domain. To do that, I'm going to use my Kali Linux server here, and I am going to run crackmap exec and use the password policy flag there to discover what the password policy is within my domain. Uh, this requires no elevated rights. Any user account can pull this information. And I can see right there, I have the account lockout threshold of 10 and account lockout duration of 30. So what that means now is that I can guess 10 bad passwords. Uh, once I guess 10 bad passwords, it's going to lock an account. And then I'm going to have to wait 30 minutes until I can try another password for that account. So we're going to want to come up with a spraying attack where we will stay underneath those thresholds. To do that, I am going to use a tool called Spray. You can actually get this from GitHub. If you clone the repository there, you can see it's very quick and easy to pull down. Uh, and basically this is a script that takes an input of all the user accounts that you, you're looking to attack and all the passwords that you wanna guess. And then it takes the password policy that we just discovered and it'll make sure that it only guesses a certain number of passwords against each account and then it waits for that lockout duration until it resets and then it continues to guess. So this is that low and slow type of password attack. And I'm going to run this against my environment. And it's going to basically go through all the users that I passed in and all the passwords. These users can be valid users that you've discovered through some reconnaissance, or it can be just a list of usernames you hope exist. And it's going to cycle through those passwords. You can see it's using common passwords like spring 2018, summer 2018. And then eventually you can see it was able to breach a handful of accounts. So five uh, accounts, or six accounts rather, came back breached, and the password spraying attack has been successful. So that is a brief and quick look at how the password spraying attack works. You can read our blog uh, and stay tuned for more information about what to do to detect and prevent these attacks within your environment. To find out more about attack strategies and how to defend against them, go to netrix.com slash attack.